this isn't going to work very well, right? Hold off to the edge. <clears throat> what you're going to want to do is see that half circle? You want to make it a circle. So I always start with that half moon. And then I move this thing to where it's a full moon. And when I back that off, it should smoke within seconds if you've got it right, okay? Ooh. So you start to diffuse, and then you back it off until it pinpoints, and wham, there should immediately be action happening, or you're fucking up. And usually how you're doing that is your angle's wrong. You're too diffuse. <clears throat> so I'll take this out of the way. I'm going to hit right in this area here, and eventually I'm going to have to shade it. <clears throat> we'll put this right down. Look familiar, eh? And we'll back it up. Pinpoint it. Just with almost breathing, it starts to dance around anyway. I'm just kind of doing a spiral. And eventually, another few seconds, I'm trying to always maintain that focus, that pinpoint of light. And eventually I'm going to have to just take my chances. Be very careful of that. Why do I have to be very careful with this bundle? You don't put something on fire accidentally. Well, that's true. You lose, you lose the fire. Oh. You don't want to blow away all your fine particles. Mm -hmm. Why is why are the put that in there? Why are there fine particles? <coughs> you created the fine, the fine. Because I had to really make them powder fine to deal with the conductivity of that one pinpoint of light, right? So it's kind of forcing me to back off a little bit because I made it extra fine for this ignition source. But you can see there's conduction working. Now here's convection working. <clears throat> as long as it's still smoking, I can safely put my ignition away. And we're going to be real safe because we're not where we're sitting. We're going to go down where you were. And I'll show you how you blow one of these up. <clears throat> So notice this, this is going to sit here and smolder, smolder, smolder. I'm going to accentuate that with my breath. Um, it's still volatile to where this cake, I could, this is all, this mass that's kind of sticking together that's now on fire. Could, I could blow it under the ground, so I'm going to be careful. But I want, again, not fill it so far. We'll shield that side with that piece of bark. I want to kind of bring it together a little bit, and I want to blow up into it. Okay, a lot of people do this. And they wonder why they're coughing. Okay, do this. It's not going to fall out if you're careful. And I'm going to kind of use these side pieces of bark to shield it. It's still very vulnerable. And I'm kind of blowing up into it. it saves me from sucking smoke. It helps if you're in the shadow, because that's kind of harder to see if you happen to bring it into the shadow of your body or whatever. If you have that luxury, you can see what's going on a little bit better. This is pretty tightly packed. I'm gonna, I don't really want you to do this, but I'm gonna jostle this up a little bit. And I'm going to open it up. And there's a little bit of fire on the top of that. And if I put that out, and I let this thing sit here, it's extremely dangerous. Because the way that's made, 
even in a windless condition, it will smoke and it will smoke and it will smoke until it's a pile of white ash. And in a fairly wind, windless condition, a tinder bundle of that size, out of that material, 30 minutes, easy. 30 minutes. Now if a breeze blows up, all of a sudden you'll see that thing going to town. So I'm going to watch this, but I'm going to leave this. I'm going to leave this here. We'll keep an eye on it. Is that thing still hot? Yes. How can you tell? Okay. Put your hand on it. It's smoking, right? Blow it up into flame, put it out again, let it sit. It's a slow match. You know, what would you do with that under the fire lays you just built? That you built earlier. Just put it right under our target here. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And if this, this is what I was talking about. Oh shit, the match went out. But it's, this is the configuration that I wanted you to try to get your target area initially. Because, oh shit. The match went, oh, oh, oh. This is the slow-mo version of this. But you still see smoke when you come in. And you rescue it. It goes out again. And you can rescue it again and again and again. And once it starts to loosen up and get into some of these areas that aren't so compressed, of course it'll burst in the flame. Imagine lighting that and having all these chances when you have it under a target area of like your winter survival lens. Very powerful stuff. 